uh, this PLC controller called um, Fit PLC and basically if you press on zero up and down arrows you see the delivery pressure stage first stage pressure temperature hours run hours on the service oil basically it's counting down from 500 service revision counting down from 2000 hours load cycles and in, in the main screen it shows you the operating pressure right now compressor is not working it's uh so there's no pressure here once it start building pressure you'll see that it'll, it'll start going up and this is the start button and this is the stop button and i like to show you how to change the settings on this uh, plc controller you need to when when you're on the main screen where you see the pressures you click on enter you click one more time now it gives you the menu on the menu the first one is the operational menu it shows you the load pressure offload pressure drain is automatic drain is on drain is off active light level timeout level screen time timeout pressure units is psi pressure temperature temperature is fahrenheit clear alarm lock language so these are the operational settings and if you go to alarm logs that you can see all the alarms and alarm settings diagnostics uh, service hours basically like uh, your maintenance service hours and uh, and also if you go to diagnostics you see the first stage second stage pressures temperature the the oh, the uh, motor motor uh, current fan motor current etc so we're gonna go to here changing the settings which we need the most for the pressure and press on where, where you are in the operational menu uh, you're gonna click on enter and the load pressure that you, you want to change press another enter now you have to enter the uh, password now I'm gonna press the password on this you, you need to request the password from the manufacturer Now I enter the password and I click on load again. Now it's gonna let me change the stop and start pressure, all onload and offload pressure. Basically you can go in and change those settings. I would leave drain on, active level light, etc. So this is all this where the settings are happening on this menu. Thanks.